Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, what I want to talk about is if I need to kind of group my data. So I've got this is a big transaction file, but let's say, for example, I want to see it by the various months here automatically. All right. So I'm just going to begin, as always, by clicking in my data source. It's already been converted to a table. I know this because when I look up here, I can see table design. So I click on table design. I choose summarize a pivot table. And then I click OK. And what I want to do is I want my dates to be on the left hand side. So I go down up here to transaction dates over here. And I basically just drag that down into my rows. And if you notice here, it groups it automatically. Zoom this up a fraction. It groups it automatically into months. And let me just put in sales. Come over here now to this one and just drag the sales down into my values. Now, the thing is that, and the other thing I want to note, this is Office 365. So if I, if you come over here, you notice, see it says months, days. Now, if I had data for more than a year in it, years would appear here. And if it was kind of like for quarters, it would also do quarters. But sometimes what can happen is that if I do a right click over here on this one, there's an option here that sometimes if I go here to ungroup, Right. You see there what will happen is that all the data has come in as dates. Now, with older versions of Excel, that used to happen quite a bit. So if your date hasn't automatically summarized, what you can do is come over here to your dates. All right. And a couple of things you need to make note of is that you might just need to check all your dates because if there's any of them that's kind of misformatted, whatever, um, Excel can kind of throw a bit of a wobbly. Not so much with the later versions, but older versions in particular. So I click on the date, then I do a right click. And then I come down here to group. All right, so just do right click and then I come down to group. And then you see there's options here then where I can group it by months, by quarters, by years. I'm going to stick with the months and then I click OK. All right, and if you notice that here, now if you notice my pivot table thing is gone because I'm no longer clicking in the pivot table. So if I click in the pivot table here, you see it now appears over here on the right hand side. And what I could do then as well is I could actually come over here to this one and just move, for example, my months up here and let's say my store location down here. All right. So just to bear that in mind, um, that when you're grouping, usually when you group it by dates, uh, it groups automatically. But in case it doesn't, you just use that group by feature to deal with it. OK, hope you find that useful. Mind yourself and take care.